This is a question which will test your deep understanding of the topic specially of position vector. So the question says find whether the points A, B, C with the position vectors as A vector is equal to 3i cap minus 4j cap minus 4k cap, small b vector is equal to 2i cap minus j cap plus k cap and i cap minus 3j cap minus 5k cap which is the c vector respectively form the vertices of a right triangle. So you have three points. Now the points may be A, B and C. These may be located like this or in any other orientation which we do not know by now. Now if I have to know about the side AB, if I say that this is a vector AB, what will I have to do? I will have to use these vectors A and B, small a and small b. So I write here solution and you should know if I am talking about a b vector that is nothing but small b vector minus small a vector because a b vector is obtained by these position vectors the latter minus the former the second minus the first so b minus a where is b b is here it is 2 i cap minus 3 i cap which is minus i cap then it is minus j cap plus 4 j cap which is plus 3 j cap this you have to do very carefully this is plus k cap, then plus 4k cap which becomes plus 5k cap, right? Next is what? If you have found out about AB, why to leave BC? So BC vector is equal to C vector minus B vector. Now what is C vector? C vector is here. So I minus 2I is minus I, minus 3J plus J is minus 2J, minus 5K minus K is minus 6K. What about AC vector or CA vector that I have to check? Now AC vector is what? It is C vector minus A vector. So C is I minus 3I which is minus 2I cap minus 3J plus here it becomes 4J then minus 5K and here it becomes sorry it is plus minus 5K plus 4K is minus K vector. K cap sorry. Now see, AB, BC, AC is known. If I have to find CA also, I can find out. CA is nothing but only the negative sign will be common and we will have some different sign and orientation. Now if I talk about right triangle, first at least these sides have to form a triangle. Then only they will form a right triangle later on. But first they have to form a triangle. Now a triangle means that when it is joined, I should have a scenario like the, if AB, BC is taken into consideration, then the resultant is AC, right? Now if I say I am adding up AB plus BC plus CA vector and it comes out to be 0, that means a closed loop, that means a triangle is formed, right? We studied this in the theoretical part. So if AB plus BC plus CA is equal to 0, that means 0 vector, I say I have these points as the vertices of a triangle, not right triangle till now. So let's check what is AB plus BC plus CA. So AB vector plus BC vector plus CA vector. Minus I, right? Minus I is minus 2I. Minus 2I plus 2I is 0I cap. Plus 3J minus 2J plus J plus j minus j plus 0 j cap plus 5k minus 6k minus k minus k plus k plus 0 k cap that means it is a b c definitely are the vertices of a triangle because i know that they are giving me 0 as this form now i have written triangle in short but my question was not only to check whether they are the vertices of triangle but whether they are the vertices of a right triangle. Let me talk about the right triangle. So for right angle triangle, there should be Pythagoras theorem that is followed, right? Because if Pythagoras theorem is followed only then we can say this is a right triangle. So let me find out what is simply AB magnitude. So it is under root 1 square plus 3 square which is 9 plus 5 square which is 25. So it is root 35. What about BC? Let's check about BC magnitude. BC magnitude is under root 1 plus under root 4 which is root 5 
root 5 plus root 36 which is root 41. Last but not the least, I have to talk about magnitude of CA. What is the magnitude of CA? 4 plus 1 which is 5, 5 plus 1 which is 6. Now this is the story. Now as you can see clearly AB square plus CA square AB square plus CA square is equal to BC square because 35 plus 6 is 41. So, A, B, C are now proved that they are not only the vertices of a triangle but that of a right triangle. Are vertices of a right triangle. So, that is how you do these type of questions. First of all, you have to go step by step. If you do not know what is a position vector, better watch the previous videos, otherwise the question cannot be solved.